Hi, hi! I had so much paper left from uh, Authentic uh, from my design team project uh, Beginnings you remember by Buggy Bram or whatever you call it um, so I thought it was a nice thing to make a little extra um, so I made up of um, so I used this paper um, and I also used some uh, 12 by 12 paper but it's this uh, paper line it's authentic and the name is Beginnings and I really like it it's really pastel color and as you see in my uh, bigger project you see a lot a lot of nice paper so I used this one to make this and um, this is a a little project and you I began how time I began with it 11 and now it's I don't know how time how time but it's 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 doable in one afternoon so uh, yes even you can do it yes you can so it looks like an album but it isn't it's not but this is the outside and I really kept the front very very simple it's it's supposed to be a nice little gift for someone who has a new baby and um, so it looks like an album so this is the outside and the back side and I used the die from Bo Bunny oh I put it already away let's see yeah but I will grab it in a minute um, but let's go inside what I made of so you open it up and then on the first page I made a pocket and uh, some little tags in so you can write uh, nice things for the person who gets it so that's one thing but then on the right side there is a box and when you open it there is a nice compartment that you can fill with nice little gifts like baby socks or a nice little baby uh, clothes or, um, or a diaper or whatever you like to give the person so I will lift it up so you can see it's really nice it's it's a sort um, of an accordion style and so you can push it and I really like it let's give it a closer look so you can see it's just like an accordion but then so that is why it pops up and I made a magnetic closure so your gifts will stay put and yeah, I think it's really really cute to give somebody and it's really done in a few hours and it was my first time that I made this style and I really like it so if you have someone that's pregnant and you want to uh, give her a nice personal touch for a gift this is really nice to give I believe so yeah hope you enjoy my tutorial because of course I made a tutorial of it so stay tuned and watch my tutorial thanks for watching oh I forgot I grabbed my die and it's from Bo Bunny and the item number is 1283981 so the elegant border die this is and I cut this or this one and I just used um, the half of it so yeah you can use it for anything you like and as you want to show what want to see what I made this border more then you go to my baby buggy authentic beginnings and then you see I'll have it on the top of the quip so like it so remember country craft creations has these on his stash and also the paper so go quickly to her site country craft creations
Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Let's see. I was searching for a little project to fill my weekly uploads on YouTube and a few months ago I did a swap on a Facebook site, a Dutch Facebook site and uh, Wendy Code did send me this uh, this um, yeah, it's it's not an album, but it looks like an album, but it is an album, but let me show you. I want to make it also, so I never did this before, but as you can see on the side, I hope you can see it, um, there is an accordion. And when you open this, then you'll see there is a box where you can put lots and lots of nice things in or tags and uh, it's it's really filled with nice things and um, so yeah I want to do this the same for um, a small project and and on this side um, she made an extra flip and this goes to the to the top so um, let's see, yeah, this goes to the wine, so yeah, you can uh, call it an album, but it isn't. So, I want to really try this, this uh, accordion style box thing, and I just want to try it. So, thanks again, Wendy, I thanked you already, but I hope I can make one of my own. And she did an amazing job. I really like it. So it looks like an album, but it's actually a, a, a card, a gift card box where you can put a nice gift in. So let's try it out. First, I want to use uh, to make a small one. So. What I did was I grabbed a piece of my Country Craft Creations Artisan Cardstock. Artisan Cardstock, yes, I mentioned it right. And um, it's, it's, it's a very nice linen cardstock, so I want to use this one. So um, I just cut this in four. So I have four six by six. I don't want to make it too large for my very, very first time to make this. So, just make six by six. Yes, and they all are even. Now, let's see. I think it will be um, how much folds are this one. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. So we have five folds. So let's see. Five, and then again it's double. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five. And this is one, two. This, this is one, two, three, four, five. I think I have them, but just in case I make another one. Just in case I always can cut it. So let's see how many folds did I make. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven folds. Of a half inch. So let's fold it first. And I have a nice cup of tea today with me. And so it's bad weather outside. It's a very rainy day. So it's nice to craft today. Now I first fold them. 
all the way. And it's my first time, guys, so perhaps I'll do it totally wrong, but we'll see. Just go with the flow and how I think it will be done, but I know I have tried this a few months ago earlier when I got it from Wendy. And it's not that easy. No, it isn't. Now I have folded them all, and now I can um, fold them as I want it to be. So this is one. Oh, we just need them all the way as an accordion, of course. So just one. We don't need any gossip opening. No, we don't. It's not a hinge. <laughs> so, let's see. Let's see how many I have. One, two, three, four, five, six I have. That's too many, but that's okay. We'll just leave it like this. We can cut it on every. So let's make four of this one. Let's do just one together. So I, like I said, I made elf of these. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. And now my problem with this scoreboard is the fold line, so I flip it over and I do it like this. So yeah, and then you fold it and, and we'll do the other two. So now we have four of these and now it's the meaning that we do this. Like so, and then glue it together. Hmm, already. So, let's see how we can manage that. First, I'm going to try to use some glue dots. I saw someone did that um, too, so I am going to try that out, how that works. So, peel it off. And the first one, I hope I am on frame, I will stick on here. Then I'm just trying, I'm trying, I'm trying, and then I lay this one. So these are going to be stuck, and now let's see, do I need it on every single one? Hmm. It could be. Let's see. Let's see. Let's use another one. They are really sticky. I use my mouth. <laughs> so just slide the other one on. Top, I believe. Let's see, and then the next one. I believe she did the same way as I do now. 
Let's give it a go. Peel it off. Yep. <laughs> yeah, let's take all my nails. And then I think this is a good, I hope, if it's not too sticky, but let's try it out. Let's give it a go. Next one. And the next one. I hope it will do it good, but <laughs> Mistakes make it human. And I think the last one. And then, yeah. Already. That was not hard to do. Let's do the next one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. These are really sticky. Let's see. So, one at first. And then let's see this on top. What I did. Let's look. Let's look. This was going under. This is. Yeah, just the first one on top. Yep. All right, next one. I believe there was one too. And if you like to skip this part, I totally understand, then skip it because this is the same handling as I just did and this is pretty easy oh. it is it is perhaps the last one will be very tricky Oh, 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 yeah. And another one. <laughs> and another one. Oop. Oop, oop, oop. And then for the last one. I need another one. Yeah. Oh, 
already like it. It's not that difficult, but let's do it another one off camera. <laughs> the last one, I think it will be a little difficult than the other ones, but we manage. So just do um, just top still on for you <laughs> I hope so it's nice that we have a mouth that is helpful Gives me a third hand. <laughs> oh my gosh. Don't you dare to laugh. <laughs> oh. And the last one. Yeah! Oh my gosh! That went pretty easy! I like it! I really like it! Yeah! I had no idea... So I had these already laid down, but I don't need them! So, put them away and let's make something nice so for the cover i measured these um, 16 by 16 by 3 centimeters and an inch is 6 1 fourth by 6 1 fourth of an inch by one inch that's the cover uh, the pages are 15 by 15 centimeters and are 6 by 6 already um, of the pages the this one um, and I like to mention that for, um, for the cover I used just simple cornflakes uh, cardstock. So if I had uh, a box of um, cornflakes or whatever is my food in with uh, a nice package in so I don't want to that this is leaking or whatever but cornflakes has uh, uh, an extra bag in it so the cardstock will be clean and if I have some box I always put it aside I never throw it away I, I kept it just for this occasion so you don't have to be that large that thick cardstock you're going to use so yeah let's use something we have cheap in our stash so Let's make the album. And I think I am going to cover it with my Artisan cardstock white. Because this is so nice to use. And I hope I manage. Otherwise I... Nope. I do first this one. So let's... Grab some pieces and I cut it in a way. So I cut my you. paper and I put some double sided tape over the outside of the box. And let's peel it off. Oh my, this is going to be. 
Let's grab another one. I think I have let that fall too many. So the point is stump. How you call it? Stump. Let's see. Let's use some extra glue on the edges, but also on the middle. And then I put it on. Um, let's see, is this going to be a see-through? Well, that doesn't matter because we are going to decorate, of course. So I line it up at the edge and then Yep, and then put some tape on the edges here too. This one is a little larger. And then I cut my corners, peel my tape off, put some extra glue on, I always like to do that. So now we can slide this, let's see, because it's much thinner than my normal cardstock is, so I do it gentle, gentle fold all the way to the end. And when it's done. And I fold it, fold it, fold it, fold it like this. Just be patient and be gentle. So use your fingers. Or you can make this one if you like, but you don't need to. Just be nice and gentle with the paper. Give it time to bend. Yeah, it will come. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, nice. And now this one. Don't wash anything. Yeah, there we have it. That's the first. do the other one. So now we have these two ready and now we are going to apply some tape on the spine. And then the album will be almost ready. Put this in the middle. Like that. And 
and then this is going to be on this side so we are going to manage all the way around tape at the bottom also on the top and on the side and here as well I really need some glasses someday. Um, let's see, let's do the first. Line it up. And how much are we going to need for the opening? Nah, two, at least two millimeters, but yeah, I think two. Yeah, two millimeters is enough, is enough, enough, enough. Just eyeball it and place it on its place. Oh, now with the last one, do the same. Just fold it and fold it and fold it. On the edge. <laughs> now when it's ready, you can adjust it. Now the last. and then I just can glue this one in oh my gosh I like it already so first I will do um, you can also put uh, decorative paper in it yeah I will search some decorative paper design paper let's yes. glue my design paper together so I picked one sheet off and I use 
the authentic papers and this collection called beginnings so just an extra glue just to be sure so I first do the inside design paper in our um, fold line that's the reason why I prefer making um, this wider so you can put your paper nice in yeah. And now the design paper, let's see, like this is going to be over here, so yeah. I really like this paper. It's so bright from colors, but still, still very light and cheerful. And it's a shame that I cover up these nice pictures, but you have to choose the papers. So. go this is the inside alrighty always have to be careful with white so yeah now this will fit over here nice and before I glue it in I think it's nice to make uh, to make it uh, close, such as this one with um, and there's a handle door with um, so you can open it. Yeah. Oh, and she did some decorative edge on the side, so yeah. Let's see what I come up with. And she used lace. Also nice. Yeah. I think I will do that. Oh, we can we can glue it first in. Yeah, we can. So oh stay tuned. My I almost forgot to film. <laughs> I um, I did some decoration on the back of at the front, of course, and um, now I am going to make um, a closure page. So I um, I call it. I measure the size of the box I mentioned, and let's make a hinge. And the hinge is a little smaller than this one. So I had cut a little off but first I do a little decoration and I like to attach some of 
the lace. I will do a little lace on the edge before I attach my paper. So let's see, let's put my needle back in. Let's see, let's grab a piece and cut it straight. And then I lay it and adjust a bit. I can just overlay it like this. Yes. And then cut the edges. That's easier to do. Because this is just a little elastic. Yeah, this is much easier to do. So, let's do the bottom. Same, just a little over the edge. Not too much, just a little. Just on this edge. Ooh. You see when I am busy, I do not talk a lot. <laughs> but who does? Let's put this one here and then. All the way to the end. Yep. Nice, 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 nice. Just a little tiny piece of lace. And I hope it will stick. So I press the glue inside. Now let's see, this is going to be like this. Then I will grab my piece of paper and put some tape on. So excited how the end is going to turn out. <laughs> I always am the first thing I try out. So so yeah, I am curious how it turns out for my very first box. Yeah. Now, make sure your glue is attaching to the lace and then nothing can wrong with your paper. Yeah. So, this is going to be on top. And then Prepared. I will do it just a little because this is going to be smoochy and then some things will come off my sponge. So I will do 
do the inking off camera because this is so delicate and light paper I don't want to smooch my paper dirty let's see and I still made some paper for the back but I'll search in a minute and it will open to the right and then this is the first thing you are going to see when you open the album so let's see what I have on design paper so now we are ready to glue it in and let's peel the first tape off and I'm going to use the smaller one so I layer two layers of tape over each other so I peel the last tape off put some extra glue on Then I am going to apply my page, my closure page. Hmm. Let's see, I think this will be easier to do, I think. I believe and when you think it's there you give it a push Perfect. Yeah, I like it. And this I always like. It. <laughs> and then it comes up again. Yeah, like it. Now I think it's ready to put it in the album and then see if I put a nice decoration touch on the top of this one. Yeah. Like it, like it, like it. I put my tape on the bottom of the box and I put some extra glue, art glitter glue. So now I am going to manage my box into the album. Let's see, this is the front, yes it is. So, and this is the front, yes, 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 yes. So I just apply it in the album before I give it a push I check if it's everywhere correct and it is then I give it a push 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 <laughs> oh my god and I even don't have alcohol on <laughs> Let me see, I can push on the side to 
to make sure that my glue and the tape is really, really, really attaching well to the cover. We don't want to fall it off. So yeah, this is it. <laughs> I really, really in love with this one. How cute is this? And this opens. Oh yeah, I really need a nice decorative piece over here. And then you can make it, I can make it uh, magnetic for here. Let's see if it's See, suppose I will do it, of course, on the outside, but let's just assume that this is going to be there. Hello. Hello, hello. <laughs> but I think it will fit better, so... I think we'll do that. But first we're going to make an edge for this one. So let's find some nice strips. So let's see. The easiest way to do for me was to grab a 6x6 six six paper. And because that's, that's pretty much the same size. And then I just cut it. I cut my way through so i think it's the best way to do so yeah let's glue it on but first i am going to attach a magnet and let's peel it off god they're really tight let's grab some tape And place it on top. And then this normally come loose. Yeah, yeah, yeah this is. Now I peel my tape of this one and then we attach it, of course. Yep, 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 yep. Do some extra glue on. Just in case. We don't want to whip it after it's enough that's enough 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 let's see the horses are going to be this way so just move it around I think I am on the good spot here, so I can push my paper and glue and tip all the way around. I so in love. With this thing. Now let's see the magnets. 
a piece of tape. And now we are going to need something to cover up. Hmm, this looks like it's This is smaller than this, but hmm, perhaps I cut it just a little, but just as that's just a little thing, not supposed to be, but try to fix it. Let's see, we have large sticker sheets. So let's see what we are going to use to cover up our magnets. Let's see. I think this one is really tiny and really nice. And then the yellow will come. Nice. Yep. Yes, 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 yes. Let's see. No, oh, I want it this way. Just all the way up here. You see, there's always a way. To fix now of course if you are going to make the same thing then remind me you that you put your uh, design paper later Let's first do the magnet Yeah, this will stay put. I love it. So now it stay put. Yep. And how nice it is if you are putting uh, little baby socks or, or little gifts in it. I really like it. Yeah. All it needs is some decoration on top. And I think a little thing here and it's, it's done. Oh, perhaps we can make a little pocket so you can put the card in so you can write on. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> let's go wild. <laughs>